Good day friends and welcome. Today we will be taking a look at the new Mac Farland DC Superpowers The Dark Knight Returns Batman figure. I bought this online straight from Hong Kong. It cost me 799 Philippine peso including shipping. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. The figure and the packaging are both in good condition. No dent whatsoever. Here is the back of the packaging. You can pause this video if you wanted to read through. Alright, let's crack this thing open. Let's get the figure out. Here is the figure. It's just a repaint of their Wave 1 Batman figure. The same body, same head sculpt, same belt, the same seven points of articulation. Here both hands rotate all the way. Head rotates 360 degrees. Legs move up and down and there is a knee joint. Good thing the cape is made out of fabric same as their previous waves other than the Wave 1 figure. Here is the figure without the cape. The cape is only the main difference between the Wave 1 Batman figure and this figure. There are peg holes here. The copyright markings are located on the right leg, and the other is on the left thigh. Time for comparison. Here is the Wave 1 Batman figure from the McFarlane Superpowers figure lineup. And here are the succeeding Wave figures. I did not pick up the gold color and the manga themed Batman figure. I don't like them. So far my favorite is this one. Their height are just the same.
Now let's compare it with my Kenner Batman Returns figure. They are almost of the same colors. I may be biased, but for me, this Kenner figure wins. The body of the McFarlane figure is bulkier than the Kenner ones. And here it is compared to the Spin Master, the Flash movie Batman figure. Look how tiny it is. Overall, although I am still happy with this release, I wish McFarlane could have used a new body mold for this. This figure could have been more bulkier. The skin tone also looks so pale. They could have added a bit more tan to it. The bat ears also could have been shorter. Other than that, it's okay. Not great, but it's okay. It was a lot cheaper than the previous wave of Batman figures in this lineup. All right, that concludes our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. One other thing, please help me grow this channel by hitting that subscribe and like button. It would mean so much for me. Thanks for watching and stay safe.